Back here at home, though, it's a big problem along the Gulf. Seabirds like pelicans, gulls, and terns are getting caught up in fishing line. Many fishermen just cut their line when it gets hung up on something and move on, never really think about the bird. But that's where it can have deadly results. And as Fox 13's Ken Suarez found out, those fishing lines can cause problems for birds inland as well. <laughs> it's okay, thrilling to see a bird of prey like this eagle return to where nature meant it to be, the wild. To be able to not only witness it, but participate in it. <laughs> Are you getting choked up? I am. It was life changing. Its life, like the lives of many birds, was saved at the Raptor Center of Tampa Bay. This red shouldered hawk is its newest visitor. Recently, rangers found a tangled in fishing line in Kissimmee State Park. If the rangers wouldn't have found them, the bird would be dead. You know, it, it will kill them. They can't get the line off. A braided fishing line, um, hard to cut with a knife, uh, impossible for a bird to, to break with its beak. So, and monofilament, pretty much the same way, too. Nancy Murrah says fishermen who leave their line behind and don't give it a second thought should, because it can be a death trap. It's easy enough. You just cast. Wait a minute, now how did that happen? The easy thing to do would be to just cut the line and move on. But fishing line carelessly discarded can leave birds like this one needing medical attention, TLC, and more. I've been doing physical therapy where we actually stretch it out of, um, every other day. Mara says more inland birds than you may think end up a hostage to carelessness. This bird was found because they were, it was in a state park. Had this bird just been in a in private land in a forest, it would have perished. And she says many birds that are never found do perish. In Brandon, Ken Suarez, Fox 13 News. And if all goes well, that red-shouldered hawk should be ready to be released in just a few weeks.